Scorpio, hi, and welcome to your reading. This is for Sun, Moon and Rising, Scorpio. If you are returning to my channel, welcome back. If you are new, welcome, and thanks for stopping by. Coral Tree Tarot here. These are all timeless and general of tarot readings, so only take what resonates. And let's jump right into it. We are going to begin with energy reading. Let's see what Spirit wants you to know. What are the messages for Scorpio? Sun, Moon, Rising, Scorpio. Abundance. I'm bringing some good news. And that is clearly a financial abundance. Being a thoughtful steward for the money you already have is the secret to creating more abundance. When you trust yourself that you handle more, that's when more shows up. Okay, so it feels like the spirit wants to make a deal with you, Scorpio. If you are really good at uh, managing your money, there is a promise of more financial abundance coming. And I feel it kind of really makes sense. Very beautiful energy, Scorpio. Um, financial abundance is around the corner. Trust that you can, you will know what to do. You'll know how to manage the situation when there is more. Oh, someone else had it. I think Cancer got that as well. Voyage. I feel you are embarking on something very new. Um, a new chapter is unfolding in your life. Um, with this energy, I feel that you're not going to be there alone. Um, there is always going to be there someone to guide you, protect you. It may not necessarily be always the same person, but... I feel this is definitely a huge new chapter opening in your life. Um, I feel you should be receiving some clarity, some information about this situation very soon. I see birds here. And there is a full moon. I we have February the 5th. Today is a full moon in Leo. I mean, there is definitely something that is going to be cyclical here in this. In that new chapter that's unfolding and opening for you. You're encouraged to go that road, go that path. Um... And as I said, every now and again, I feel the moon, the cyclical aspect of the moon, um, it makes me feel every now and again there, there will be someone on that new path to guide you. You won't be there alone. There will be someone very friendly. Wow, financial abundance in some huge new chapter. Scorpio, let's see what's happening for you in love and relationships. Sun and rising Scorpio. Sun and rising Scorpio. What's happening? What's happening, Scorpio? Okay, let's see. We've got the temperance. Five of cups in the past, six of Ones in the future and nine of cups. I feel someone is, this person is feeling um, that it's the right time. The right time. The temperance is divine timing. The nine of cups for me, it's this nine, it's almost ten. So th this person is feeling that it's the right time for, I feel, moving out of this regretful energy with Five of Cups and looking at something, looking at the situation in a more um, positive and optimistic. 
optimistic way. Six of Wands in the position of the future really speaks of that this person is feeling this can work out. This person is moving away from, someone's moving away from that um, pessimistic energy of Five of Cups. This could be Sagittarius. Tell me more about this temperance. Is there, there is this, I'm hearing this high time for something, this right time for something. Tell me more about this temperance. Okay, there were four of pentacles. Yeah, someone's holding, has been holding back, expressing love. It's high time to express that love. And they couldn't sleep. They couldn't sleep. Hiding, hiding that love was really taking a toll on someone with that nine of swords, sleepless night. I feel your person's finally feeling that it's time to open up about how they feel about you. Ace of Cups, this is really beautiful energy. Um, I really, really love it. Very straightforward messages. The Nine of Cups. Yeah, um, as I said, I mean, here we have, I'm clarifying the Nine of Cups as the over, overall energy, the strength two of Pentacles and King of Swords. I feel um, someone's been, you know, like juggling. Should I, should I not? Should I express, should I not? Should I, um, this is holding back passion and holding back all this love and passion this is both sort of pulling these energies to sort of this 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 energy of love and passion pure passion here it's a very sexual energy this strength card um they've been going back and forth about just making it clear or not. Making it clear or not. So I feel the juggle is, is nearly over. The juggling of whether or not um, is over. Nine is almost ten and ten is the um, end of a cycle. So I feel your person is getting very close to... Um, basically telling you finally how they feel about you and what they want out of this connection for those of you that are in a relationship and if something has happened in the past between you two this person definitely has regretted whatever happened um tell me one what well, maybe just one one card to clarify this, this regret, Scorpio, what's this five, of, what's that regret, what was that regret about? Just one clear, okay, this wants to come out. <laughs> wow, okay. I feel someone didn't really, uh, I think there's more to it, the regret, uh, the five of cups here, there's definitely more to it, but I feel this person didn't, express clearly how excited they were about this connection they didn't act on it but i feel there is more to it than just that ace i am going to leave it i just wanted um a little bit about this past energy i'm glad to see that this is in the past this is beautiful this person knows this this can go this will work out with this energy here this person is like I know this can work out between us and I feel they are very ready to express finally this um, the way they feel about you no more juggling tell me more about the six of wands yeah I feel someone's going to step into this 
The Empress energies make me makes me feel that this is how this person feels about themselves. They feel confident that they have everything they need to um, to make this relationship work. In other words, they are going to be there to meet you halfway to make sure that this relationship is going to work out. And this is very soon. This this ten of wands. It's making me feel that. This person's been kind of like really holding back, not sleeping well at night, um, juggling whether to communicate clearly about how they feel about you. And there's a lot of passion and love. There's a lot of passion and love here, Scorpio. This person loves you and is so excited when they are around you. So I feel, you know, the temperance... They know it's it's high time to um, to express that that what that they haven't expressed yet. I feel this person really wants to feel the the joy of of being together. It makes me feel that it's as if being on, on the, I feel this person's kind of also going to realize that in the near future, because this these energies are clarifying the Six of Wands, this person's also going to realize that being on their own, I kind of am getting that, isn't, it's not really making this person happy. Like it's hard to be, it's hard to be happy when you've got no one to um, share your success, your ups and downs. This is what I'm getting: strong Sagittarius and Leo and Taurus and Libra energy here. Wow. Um, I feel that there's going to be some sort of social gathering you might um, end up going together to. And I feel this person's going to express. Tell me more about this Three of Cups. These two, you wow, that's beautiful. That's what I thought. There's gonna be some communic conversation, communication, um, a very important communication happening at some sort of social gathering. This person is going to express clearly that you know you're the one. They want you. Full stop. Um, no more games. No more hiding. And you know not expressing the fact that they love you and you are the one they want or this is how you feel about them that's another thing these energies can go vice versa this could be your energy scorpio so perhaps you feel that it's the right time finally to express feelings towards someone and in the near future i kind of feel that there's going to be some sort of social gathering in in around this gathering you're going to clearly express how you feel about the situation how you feel about someone you love them and that you really feel confident that this connection is going to work out very well and, you know, can go places. Toxic! Oh my lord, what's that, Scorpio? Devotion. And we've got missing you. Thoughts of you on their mind, considering feelings and emotions. They miss you. If I can see some separation here, people are not together. Devotion, this love, um, Anchors. Okay, I never know how to pronounce it. Please let me know. You together, nothing can separate you. You bound together, but there is this toxic energy. What's this? This connection is unhealthy. Drawn together out of need or habit, release it to be free. Okay, so there's some 
toxic energy here. I've got nothing in tarot here, but there we go. There is some message about perhaps you were brought together originally out of not purely love, but a different um, reason. <laughs> There's nothing here in a tarot. I go with tarot, but for some of you, there is definitely something um, that isn't quite right. What do we have here? I'm listening to my head and not my heart. That is on the bottom of the deck. And I am going to take it as well. Um, please listen to my side. Okay. There is definitely a message here. Um, to to talk and actually listen, not really talk, to listen the other person's point of view and perspective. They want you to know what is, how they see the situation, how they view it. I keep my feelings bottled up. Okay, I feel we know that. There is four of pentacles. It was right here sitting with this beautiful ace of cups. They They have been bottling up this Look at this stress. They couldn't sleep at night. So this person definitely loves you or you love someone um, really, really more strongly. You are so special to me, Scorpio. There we go. Some important words will be spoken at some sort of party, social gathering, where, you know, whether that is other people, I feel. Neptune, I'm getting it all the time. Venus, it's so interesting, this, these readings. And Virgo energy as well. Could be dealing with Virgo as well. Neptune. In astrology, this planet is associated with dreams, illusions, confusion. Um... There is some sort of mystery attached to this love. I really can't see anything here, but perhaps you can guys really easily associate this with your story. And there is love here. Venus, the planet of love. I mean, it, it is here, but someone's been hiding this love. And until now, I feel this person's finally ready to open up. Hooray! Um... Scorpio, thank you for your time and your energy. If you enjoyed this reading, please don't forget to like and subscribe. Drop me a comment if this resonates. That's all that I have for you today. All the very best and I'll speak to you soon. Goodbye for now.